Perfect. Hello world, I'm Eric and welcome to Analytics. Today I'm excited to tell you about something I've been working on for the past few weeks but have been thinking about for more than a year. This is the Open Trickler. Now you might summarize by calling this a do-it-yourself version of the Auto Trickler. That's fair, but it's actually much more than that. Instead of me trying to explain to you how the Open Trickler works, let me show you. So the way it works is this little unit is basically just a Raspberry Pi Zero inside of a case with a small custom circuit board on top. Um, and then these wires connect to the back of this modified tube. Um, and there's just a small vibration motor in the back up here. The tube goes inside of uh, any standard powder trickler. This happens to be an RCBS. Um, in my case, I just have it elevated on this stand here because I like to pour the powder through a funnel that has a little drop tube uh, that fits just the right height for one of these Area 419 powder cups to fit underneath. So I have the scale zeroed out right now, and what I'm gonna do is actually tear it with this uh, pan. So I'll put it on there, wait for it to stabilize, hit zero. And today we're going to trickle up using 24 grains of Varget. So on this uh, Android phone, I'm gonna launch the app, and I'll select the device and connect to it using Bluetooth. You don't have to do any pairing. Uh, this application will do it for you as long as you have Bluetooth turned on. So you can see I've already connected to it. Uh, it says a stable weight. Uh, it's currently on a weight of zero, which is correct, and the unit of grains, which is all correct. So I'll go back to the main screen here. And right now it's you know set to zero, but we're gonna do 24 grains. So we'll do 24, and you can see it's already on grains, as is the scale. I can just click on the unit, and you can see it'll switch over and automatically do the conversion for me and it switches the scale automatically to use grams. So I'll tap it, go back to grains. You can see that this also goes back to grains, so that's great. So um, now we have an empty cup in here, but just to demonstrate that it is fully capable of going from zero up to 24 grains, we'll just hit play. So as this is running, the small vibration motor is trickling out a small amount of powder through the funnel and then down into the cup, and you can see the scale is updating as it goes. Once it gets closer to the target weight, it'll start to slow down a little bit at a time until it reaches the perfect weight, then it will stop. You can hear it going a little slower. It slows down even further and it should just tap out one kernel at a time until it gets to the perfect weight. Now, the great thing about this vibration design, this is very similar to the Omega or Dandy trickler, where uh, if you vibrate instead of rotating a tube, you prevent the clumping from happening with uh, sticks or cylinder style powders, where they tend to clump up and then pile and then fall out a, a bunch at a time. So you can see we've hit the perfect weight, 24, 24 grains. It may have over a little bit there because I, I moved my hand down it made the scale think it was slightly light, lighter. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll call that good enough. So you can see on the app, it's still running. Like I haven't paused this. I'm gonna take the cup off, just dump this charge, and pretending we have a charge master, this is about 19 grains of Varget. We'll dump this into the, the cup, put it back on here, and it keeps on going. So it's gonna go back up to 24 grams, excuse me, 24 grains. Obviously if I had that pre-charge at 23 grains, this would go a lot faster. probably can't hear it, but the motor is just barely pulsing and it pulses on and off. Uh, and the reason that it pulses on and off is it makes uh, the, the design of controlling the motor a software problem instead of a hardware problem. If this was a hardware problem, you'd have to vary the voltage uh, using like a, a potentiometer or a variable resistor. 
uh, by just pulsing the motor on and off at different speeds, you can do it, control it completely with software and customize it to the type of motor that you have. So you can see it stopped running. We're at exactly 24 grains. So I can take this off and I'll dump a little bit of powder out just to get it pretty close. Instead of going to 24.0 grains, what if we want to go up to 24.02 or 24.04? So we can change this on the fly. It automatically updates over Bluetooth. So we should see this go up to 24.04. and it stops. Perfect. So we're going to pause that. We're going to take this off. One of the other benefits to this system is that it makes load development actually much easier. So instead of having to weigh out the exact target weight for every load that you want to do and then trickle up to zero, you can just set whatever load you want. So right now we have a precharge weight of 17.26 grains. Let's say we want to go to 19.1 so we can set this and change it very easily without having to adjust the scale or what its zero is it doesn't care uh, so if we wanted to go 19.1 19.2 19.3 19.4 uh, whatever the load development uh, technique is that you want to use this makes it much easier to do Hopefully this helps to demonstrate what the Open Trickler is capable of today, but this is just a starting point. I called it the Open Trickler because everything about it is open source. The design, the schematics, the parts list, including the software for the mobile app and the controller. You can find links for everything, including instructions on how to build your own in the description down below. Because of this open design, anyone can customize it to meet their own needs or help to improve it for everyone. So I hope you go out and build an open trickler for yourself, or maybe build a few of them for your friends. And if you do, I hope you share them with me on Instagram. I'd love to see all of your creations. If you like projects like the open trickler and want to see more, consider supporting me on Patreon. That's all for today. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you soon.